you. Today we'll have a look at this pen. I requested this from my friend Joost at Applebone Penham uh, because uh, Doug Rathbun came over, you know, Doug from uh, Inquiring Minds. He was here and he had lunch and we had lunch. I mean, he did, it's not that he was sitting here having lunch and I was looking at him having lunch. We together had lunch. Anyway, he had one of these pens and I thought that's kind of a funky pen. So I asked Joost if he could spare one and he said, not really, but I guess I'll send you one anyway. So um, here we are. It's been a long day already. Um, and I'm going to talk about this pen. Sailor, cool brand from Japan, established 1911, still in business, not a revamped company that claims to be something that they're not. This is still the original company. Neat pen. What makes this so interesting is that it has an adjustable nib position. Now, don't get too excited. This doesn't mean you can go from fine to broad to whatever. It simply means that you can change the angle of the nib based on the fairly prescriptive uh, section. So I'll show you how that works when I tilt the camera down. You can actually see what I'm doing. A very kind thank you to Yoast for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. I hope this is going to be interesting. I'll cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample on new paper. <gasps> I know. And then I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, let's talk about the Sailor Tuzu. Um, it came in a peculiar box. I, I can't reproduce what this, how this was like tied up. There was a thing looped through. I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. Um, there we are. I just, I just, you know, see, I, I've, I've come to an age now. I don't play that game anymore. I can't put it back together. I don't care. Okay, then in here was uh, the, 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 the pen. Also a little, a little squished a little bit, but that's perfectly fine. The pen was in here. I do really like this, this sort of baby green color, by the way. Uh, we got two cartridges, which is neat. Right? Proprietary cartridges, so it's nice you can start writing straight away. And then we have this sort of... Uh, extensive information booklet on how to use uh, the pen, how to use that system, um, how to use that system uh, uh, that I will show you in just a second. I, I shut down for a sec, but I'm back. Okay, let's look at the pen. Here is the pen. I'm going to zoom in, give you a better view. It's very, very intensely black pen, so it's. Uh, I hope you'll be able to see details well. And here is that pen right next to a pile of metropolis. And so I would say the same length, but, but girthier, right? Okay, let's, uh, let's look at the parts of this pen and then we'll try to fiddle with that, that nib angle adjustment system. So on top of the cap, the finial, uh, there isn't really anything but that, that uh, sort of ring. Uh, it doesn't say sailor or anything. Then we have the... Um, the clip, I, why, why am I struggling to find the name clip? I don't know. Uh, clip, interesting, it feels like plastic, but, but this is obviously a metal piece. So I was a little worried when I saw all the plastic, but I, with the metal it seems pretty tight. Looks like I got some scuff marks there. Thank you, Joost, for sending me a damaged pen so I can do videos for like, no, no, obviously I'm, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> I don't know where this happened, that probably was me. Um, we got Sailor there with the anchor logo that I always think is quite cute. Uh, we have this gap that I'll, uh, I'll come back to between cap and barrel. Uh, and then we have the barrel tapers down. We have another ring there. And then you have the pen. It's just a slip cap, so it just pops off. And then we have this nib. Now, if you say Lamy Safari, um, I wouldn't blame you because that looks an awful lot like Lamy Safari nib. Oh, have you tried a Lamy Safari nib fit? No, I have not. Oh, should you do that? Maybe, but not right now. Uh, Lamy uh, sorry, sorry, uh, say, <laughs> say La Tuzu nib um, with the anchor logo on it. Um, and here we have the feed. And then here we have the section. Now, of course, this is where things get very, very interesting. So we have here this section which has facets. You see, there's a facet. And here is a facet, and at the bottom there is no facet. And there is a metal ring here, and this is vital. So I'm going to unscrew everything. I'm going to try to show you how this works. So we have a barrel, which I suppose you could fill with an eyedropper. I haven't tried it. I haven't seen any holes in it, but I know some people are obsessed with eyedroppers, so you might be able to do it here. 
And then we have the converter. Sailor converter comes with the pen, proprietary, so nice, nice that it comes with it. Now here's, here's the, the, the trick, okay? You see this metal ring here. Okay, so that's what you unscrew. And then you don't have to do it all the way. You don't have to take this metal ring all the way off, but it just, it just slides up and down. You just give yourself enough space. And now you can just push it out. And now I don't know if you can see this very well, but there are ridges all around this plastic piece. And then inside the section are grooves. You see now I got a, I got a groove and a ridge lined up. And I'm trying to do that in such a way that I actually don't... Th there. Now I don't have them lined up. It's, it, you see it, it wouldn't slide forward. So you have to slide them in. Now the advantage is you can just keep going. So you can say, okay, I don't want my... my uh, I hold my, my pen like this. That I don't think anyone would do that, but I hold it like this. I don't know if the camera picks this up appropriately, but, but I'm looking at it. The, really only one of the times is hitting the paper. I know it's not paper, but you know what I mean. So I don't think anyone would do this. If I were to hold this, this nib would now be very rotated. But if you rotate your hand as you write, what would you do? Use an oblique nib. But not a lot of companies make oblique nibs anymore. So here you can fiddle with it. You can even say, you know what, I'm going to put it all the way around. I'm going to put those facets at the bottom. I don't think that's the most comfortable, but I'm just holding the round-ish area of the section. And I'll do that. I don't like that. So you can do all these things. So for me, again, it takes a little bit of fiddling around with for the first time. For me, this seems to be a... a no, I, I think one more turn. This seems to be a pretty comfortable spot. So I leave it there, right? I leave that right there, and I just turn that ring back up again. Carefully, you don't lose it, right? Because, it, like I said, it does screw all the way off, and then it just falls off. Okay, so make sure that's tight again. It is right now. Barrel, screw back in place. Pippity-poppity, done. And you can write. Comfortable. I think that is a neat little thing to build into a pen uh, because it, it's just a little different. And the biggest issue with the Lamy Safari is people don't like the section. Some people love it, other people hate it. So with the Lamy Safari, you're forced to hold it the way Lamy thinks you should be holding it. With this Tuzu, if I wanted to put the nib facing downwards and the feed facing the sky right now, I could do that and I could write with it that way, right? So I think it's really neat. So that's really, I think, all there's to it as to the pen. I think we just need to see how it writes. And I ran out of my regular paper, so I'm now going to be using Pelican Hub paper. Now this is very smooth, I may regret this, um, but Sailor, Tuzu, uh, the ink is Waterman, blue black and this is a steel broad nib let's do some writing this is very very smooth paper i wonder if it's coated with something there is some feedback as you write uh, but as sailor nib goes sailor nibs go sorry um, it's really quite smooth i must say and um also bear in mind, right, Japanese broad tends to be more like a Western medium, it tends to be one nib grade less. So it's not the broadest of broads. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Wetness. Nice, not too wet, not too dry. It is a pretty round nib. I wouldn't say this has really stub-like qualities. Line variation, <clears throat> excuse me, as always, very careful. This is a stiffer nib. Um, might be able to squeeze something out, but I wouldn't push it. Stiff nib. For those of you who enjoy such a thing,
You can do reverse writing. Does it get much narrower? Maybe a little bit, but it's not a big difference. So, I think what we need to do next is talk about likes and dislikes. What do I like and what do I not like about this pen? Well, I think there is quite a lot to like. You have to put this in the context of the price, the price around $37, $40. I don't think that's terrible, but there are cheaper pens. Yes, I know. I didn't say this was the cheapest fountain pen you can buy. I just say this is a relatively affordable fountain pen, especially as sailors go. But what about the profit? Yes, I know, but relatively speaking, it is fairly affordable. There's also the 1911, the 1911 Large, the King of Pen. These are pretty expensive pens, two extremely expensive pens. This one is more affordable. There's a couple of things I really like about it. I like that Sailor moved away a little bit from their classic cigar shaped or torpedo shaped black. Uh, gold trim. It looks timeless. I think it's a timeless classic design. This looks a little different and that's kind of neat. Innovate. Do something a little differently. I think it's really cool. I like that. The adjustable grip I was skeptical about. I thought it was kind of a gimmick and then I played with it and then I thought this kind of makes sense because actually the default setting for me doesn't really work. So it actually works. Yeah, you need to finick, finick, fiddle a little bit with it to figure out how to set that up. But it's not that hard. I want you to know how to do it, and that's why I want to demonstrate it in this video. It's it's really quite easy, uh, and I, I really like it. I also kind of like that you can do that without dirtying your fingers. It's 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 pretty neatly designed um, system. It's a pleasant writer. I can't say anything but that. It is a pleasant writer, um, works really quite nicely, a solid posting, comfortable nib, quite smooth. The Sailor nibs tend to have a bit of feedback. They're, they're known for that. This one is really quite smooth, quite nice. I like it. Um, the Lamy-esque look, I have to be honest, um, it's, it's, it's not my, my favorite. Uh, I, I, I've never really particularly cared for, for nibs that look that way, but, but that's perfectly fine. I mean, that's a, that's a purely subjective thing. Uh, comes with a converter. I think that's nice. I have seen pens more expensive where the converter was a separate purchase, so I really like that Sailor throws it in, plus two cartridges, so you can really write straight away, which, which I think is nice too, especially because these are proprietary cartridges, proprietary converters, so you would really have to have that lying around somewhere to be able to use it, so I think that's great. Um, I first thought, oh, plastic clip, that's a terrible idea, but of course there is the metal part uh, right up there, so that's, that's not really a problem. Um, I think it's, it's quite good. If I would have to nitpick, and it is nitpicking, because overall I, I really like the pen, I think it's a nice size, it's comfortable, it, it does everything it's supposed to do. If I had to nitpick, I don't like the gap. There is right here a gap between cap and barrel, and to me it looks like I didn't uh, screw the feed, uh, sorry, the um, section in far enough, and it's just a, a weird little gap. I guess is a is an aesthetic thing, but I, I, it's it's not it's not for me. Now it's you barely even see it, don't you? But when you get close, you see it, and once you see it, you can't unsee it. And there's this this gap. Anyway, really, that's it. Because for what it is, for the price you pay, I think you get a lot of pen, and it's really cool. So. I hope this was useful. Again, a kind thank you to Joost for lending me this pen. I appreciate it. I will gladly see you later. Bye-bye.